pacing back and forth Oh, I don't understand why you're standing right here All your shots have scored No, scratching at the scars you left on my skin but We fight and we fall and we rise through it all Till we find what we want and we lose it all again Your touch on my skin, pull me close, take me in Just me, just you Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. So I wanted to try and film this video really, really quickly while the kids are sleeping. I am watching Camden today, so him and Charlie are both asleep right now. And yeah, let's just jump into this video. So I really, as you can tell by the title, I really wanted to address the reason as to why I left YouTube for so long and why I decided to come back. So the number one reason why I started my channel was because I simply just wanted to have the memories of my kids. Well, at the time it was just Elliot. But I really wanted the memory of my son. I wanted to see the whole process of him growing. And that was the main reason why I started my channel. I did not start my channel to try and get anything out of it. I, I did, honestly didn't think that I was going to make it to be this huge YouTube star, or whatever it is you want to call him. I, I didn't really start my channel to to become that I literally started my channel just to have the memories of my kids growing up it's like I wanted to share that with my families um, a lot of my family like I don't really get to see them that often and they ask about the kids often so I definitely did start my channel for that sole reason again I did not start my channel to become YouTube famous or anything like that if I did gain money out of it I wasn't going to complain about it but I mean that's not what I started it for and then the reason why I left the first time was because after I had Elliot I dealt with so much with like the cluster feeding um, I was exhausted from becoming a first-time mom it was just really tiring and I ended up leaving and then I decided to come back my channel has fluctuated from me leaving and coming back and I'm really hoping that this time I stay because I love my YouTube channel. It's somewhere, it's something that I, I definitely feel like a venting outlet. Um, I don't put a lot of what we go through out to the world just because that's just my personal preference. I, you know, Andrew and I, we deal, we deal with things, my family and I, we deal with things and I just don't think that it's something that I want to put out to the world. Some of my stuff I would really like to keep private and that's what I do. I share with you guys what I want you guys to see. I get like a lot of messages from friends and people I don't even know to be honest like and they tell me all the time like you make my, you make motherhood look so easy and blah blah blah. You're such a good mom and and I really really appreciate those comments more than anything because it makes me Feel for a second it makes me feel like I have got this down I've got it in the bag like it's good but in all honesty I am tired I am stressed I am mentally exhausted a lot of the times I am dealing with anxiety um, I have a feeling that I have a small thing of depression but I'm not exactly diagnosed with it I just like there's just times when I could just sit here and cry for no reason um, but I'm dealing with it I'm self-soothing with it um, and I'm getting through it and that's all I can really ask for and I think that doing YouTube does help me a lot with it you guys I really apologize for the way I look today I left because it started to just really f it didn't feel everything felt forced like it just didn't it wasn't what I wanted my channel to be I wanted my channel to be a fun um my own personal creation everything I did it felt very 
I don't want to say competitive, but I feel like competitive is the only word I can actually use for this for this exact sentence, but I mean, I wanted everyone to see the real raw truth of motherhood. You know, I wanted people to see my kids crying because I told them no, they couldn't have a, a lollipop or whatever it is that it is I told them no for. And I wanted people to see that. I wanted them to see my truth. I wanted them to be along the ride of me becoming a first time mom. Um, but yeah, so it, my YouTube channel for me became very competitive. It became very, um, just not me. And I did not want that for my channel. I didn't want to feel like I had to keep up with these other YouTube stars. And I didn't want that for my channel. And that's what I, I turned it into. And I still do want to have subscribers. I still, and I, I love every single one of the subscribers that I do have. And I appreciate every, everybody taking the time to watch my videos and liking my videos and commenting on my videos. Like more than anything, I appreciate it. But I didn't want it to feel like such a job. I wanted it to be like more of a hobby for me. And I think that I really turned it into a stressful environment for myself. And I gave myself anxiety. And it was something that I didn't need. The world we live in, you try to be perfect for everybody and everybody's eyes, even your own. And I think that with the time of me trying to make my channel per perfect, I lost sight of what I really created my channel for. And that's why I left YouTube for four months. I think it was like four or five months I left. And I took the time to really spend time with my kids, stop editing, stop worrying about what video I'm gonna be uploading next. I'm still gonna be creating content. I, I really love my channel and I remember in the four or five months, I think it was five months, I remember in the five months of me not being here, I remember sitting here and telling Andrew, like I miss my channel so much. Like I missed YouTube. I don't have a lot of subscribers. I, at this time I only have 144 subscribers, which is fine. I have you guys and that's all that matters to me and I remember telling Andrew like I just miss uploading missed it like I really did miss it even though I'm not getting paid for it I don't get paid for my channel I don't have enough subscribers or views to get paid for my channel but I still missed uploading and I still missed catching the moments and stuff like that so that was when I decided to bring my channel back so I don't plan on going anywhere. I don't plan on quitting YouTube anytime soon or anything like that. Um, I don't even have a thought of quitting my YouTube channel. I'm actually really happy with where my YouTube channel is. Um, this is kind of a scary video to film because I don't want anybody to take it the wrong way. Like I'm very appreciative for all 144 of you guys that are subscribed to my channel. I appreciate everyone that views my videos and likes my videos and takes the time to, out of their day just to kind of be a part of our lives with us and I appreciate every single one of you guys more than anything um, but I don't want my channel to be a competitive platform. I'm very proud of um, where my channel is today. I just wanted to get on here and really just vent to you guys and tell you guys the reason why I left YouTube this last time and the reason why I am back and that is the only reason why I wanted to film this video. I do upload a video every Wednesday so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet please be sure to subscribe to my channel hit the bell button that way you can get a notification whenever we do upload a video and we will see you guys all in our next video. Are you gonna say bye? Say bye. Aww. Love you.